So these are uneven and weighted hamstring curls, bridge curls. So you're at 90 degrees with your hips and your knees. The head's relaxed, so you're not looking at yourself this way. The, uh, your feet, knees and hips are in the same alignment, so there's not one foot out further or knees open, that kind of thing. And when you start off doing this first, this is a way to move into single leg curls on the chair here, so there's a lot more, a lot more pressure going through the legs, through the hamstrings. So I want to curl the pelvis first, so I do the pelvic tilt, just same as if you're doing a bridge, so I'm tilting this way, over here, getting the glutes to squeeze, then rolling the pelvis off the floor, and I feel a lot of pressure on my handies already, and I pull up as high as I can go, where I just get the flat here, so I'm not going extra with my, with my back, and I'm squeezing my butt here again, then one vertebra at a time, just same as the bridge, come back down. So if I was doing 50% weight, so about 50% weight in my right leg, 50% weight in my left, so I've got pressure evenly through both legs, I could do a, a set to fatigue or close to fatigue, especially when I was building up, I might do three sets of um, close to fatigue, so probably about 10 to 20 reps. So I'd repeat that again, so I'm curling the pelvis first, pulling with the hamstrings, one vertebra at a time going up, and I can make this harder by crossing my arms and squeeze my butt at the top, and then one vertebra at a time back down. So if I want to start to do the uneven weighting, it, someone looking, it looks like you're still putting weight through both your feet, but you feel you're pulling with one leg more than the other. So this time I'm gonna put my weight through my right leg, you won't see any difference, but I'm gonna pull with I'm going to take less weight out of my left leg. So I have about 60% more pressure going through here. So 60% here, and 40% pressure going through the right, through the left, sorry. So I curl the pelvis, but I'm dragging more with this leg and not pulling as much with this one now. So I feel a lot more effort. The movement is exactly the same. So I keep doing that until that leg was fried. So it, it feels like for me, I'd probably get about six or seven repetitions and there'd be time to change my leg. So what I can do as I get stronger, gradually make more weight go into that. So I might go 70%, 80%, 90%, then 95%. So it's hardly any weight going through this leg, but I feel all going through this one. And my pelvis is still doing all the right motions with the curling and I'm not letting it twist and that kind of thing as well, or letting the feet turn out or turn in, the feet are always just pointing straight up. So both the lateral and the middle hamstrings are pulling evenly. So what it builds up to is that as you get into that 95, 99% weighting, at a certain point you can just take that foot off the, off the chair and it'll all be done with the one leg. So it's a really good way to build up to it. So what that looks like from here, I've got the feet and knees, hips in the same alignment here. So I'm not going out this way or this way, or feet turning out. And I'm gradually putting less weight through this foot. We're going to pull more with this one. But my pelvis doesn't rock, it doesn't change. It just it stays in the same position. And then as I put more pressure through, so I'm going 100% this time. And we want the motion to be smooth. If the motion's jerky, especially coming down, it's the nervous system trying to work out how to coordinate it. So we want to train that too. We want it to be smooth. 